Currently, the wind is out of the west at 17 miles per hour. The relative humidity is 50%, and the barometer reads 29.90 inches and holding steady. Under partly sunny skies, it's 40 degrees in downtown Baltimore, 36 degrees in Joppa Town. It's 1215, and that's the news at noon. I'm Larry Roberts. Thanks for joining us. The Hearst Broadcasting Corporation, in association with Prelco Productions, present The Prel Who Stole Christmas. It was just last year, on Christmas Eve day, Alan Prell made a promise that he would finally pay. He solemnly swore to his entire lunch bunch that next Christmas Eve, he would buy them all lunch. A feast for his friends is what he had said, but as the day grew near, he wished they were dead. I'm not shelling out cash. Why should this cost me? I don't mind that they eat, but can't we get the food free? They'll eat and they'll eat until they've had their full fill. And when it's all over, I'll be stuck with the bill. The guests were arriving. Now it's too late for Prell to avoid his expensive fate. I've got to figure a way out of this and use my alley-powered brain. I've got to save my alley bucks from all this financial strain. Hey there, big guy. So when do we eat? I'm ready to finally have a lunch that's your treat. It's psychologically sound to keep your guests fed, so they might take back all the mean things they've said. Okay, Dr. Jim, you old mind mender you. I'll see that you get what you deserve when we're through. The wheels were all turning, though all small and low gear. Pro was thinking of a way to get out of buying lunch again this year. Okay, Alan. I hear there's pimento loaf, turkey roll and rye, pumpernickel, honey ham. No one asks me but diversify. Eat the cold cuts that you like. Throw the rest away. The prospects make me bullish. Gee, I love this day. I love this lunch with Alan, but today's a special treat. It's always called lunch with Alan, but today we get to eat. Eat you will, old Westy boy. That's why you made the trip. But this year, if it's possible, could you leave a tip? Perhaps a hot stock prospect. What looks good in 92? How come what you recommend, you never seem to do? Merry Christmas, Alan. I hope that I'm not late. I was working on a column, and the deadline could not wait. It's epic in proportion, in its breadth, its width, its size. Goodness me, it's so wonderful, I could win another prize. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've heard that one before. Just go on and join the others. Just go on through the door. How about me, Alan? Where's my free food? I'm in a bit of a hurry. I don't mean to seem rude, but I am the newest regular on the Lunch with Ali show. But I have my own show as well, so I've got to eat quick and go. Okay, Smithy boy, you voice of doom and gloom. I'll be getting the food shortly. Just go wait inside the room. I can't believe it, Alan. I'm here and no one's ill. You usually never invite me unless you need to fill. I would have been here sooner, but I got pulled over on the bridge. The sign said 25 MPH, and I was pushing that a smidge. I'll pay my fine, although I didn't deserve it. The important thing is I'm here. I've been waiting for this historic luncheon since you promised it last year. Not so fast, Kevo. It's not time yet for this meal. There's one more thing I have to do before I lose this deal. The Prell thought, and he thought, till he thought himself dry. Then he came up with the most diabolically sinister lie. I'll show those happy doodles. I'll rain on their parade. I know the eats is why they're here. <laughs> I see through their charade. Merry Christmas, Alan. You look wonderful, Alan. These words, they don't go too far. Humbug on these happy fools. I'm taking the goodies out to my car. Come in here, little Debbie. Get in here on the double. Here I am, Alan. Am I in any trouble? Come here, little Debbie. Let me tell you my plot. They think that I'm buying them lunch, but I'm not. 
you're going in there before it's too late and take back the food laid out on the plate. We're taking back all these once a year treats before those old moochers scarf down my fine eats. I don't want to do what I should not. It wouldn't be right, and I might get caught. Just quit your complaining. I don't care what you say. The show's called Lunch with Alan, and we're doing it my way. So Pearl and Little Debbie started collecting all the food to go, the deli tray, the paper plates, and Dr. Jim's banjo. Pearl took all the garland and the wreaths and fireplace and wood, and quicker than you can say, don't tell the big boss, he cleaned the place out good. Then Alan Prowl, with a despicable grin, rolled in the shopping cart and threw the food in. Here, little Debbie, you ride on top. You have to make sure none of my food drops. Not so fast, Alan, I'm afraid of heights. So find something to hold on to and hold on real tight. You're a mean one, Mr. Prell. The worst at B.A.L. You treat your callers rudely and your topics are inane, Mr. Prell. I wouldn't eat with you if you picked up the check and the bar tab as well. You're a cheap one. Mr. Prell, you slimy little toad. You pinch your pennies tightly and you keep your wallet closed, Mr. Prell. You'd single-handedly wipe out the national debt if you ever paid back all the money you owed. Okay, little Debbie, I think we're on our way. Uh-oh, there's Ernie Schilling. I wonder what he'll say. Hey there, Alan. Where are you going with all that stuff? If you take that much, it won't be enough. Don't worry there, Ernie. I'm not taking it far. I'm storing it for safekeeping in the trunk of my car. Okay there, Alan. Just wanted to know. Wanted to make sure there was enough for your show. Boy, that was a close one. It gave me a fright. Good thing that Ernie... <laughs> is not all that bright. Out the front door, he pushed his lunch on a cart. Down TV Hill, he started to dart. They'll see there's no lunch. No cookies, no pie. I'll bet even sweet Alice will break down and cry. I'll show them who's boss. I'll show them who's right. There's no use spending money when money is tight. Just then, the Prowl stopped dead in mid-stride because of a sound coming out from inside. Lines with Alan, lines with Alan, gather together on this day. Lines with Alan, lines with Alan, thankful for this special day. We are here on Radio 11, the closest thing on earth to heaven. Alan Prell's our favorite They don't sound mad. If I had to describe it, their voices sound glad. I took all their food, and they're singing a song. Perhaps I have all this Christmas stuff wrong. Perhaps it's not taking, but giving's the thing that makes them all happy, that makes them all sing. At that very moment, with a tear in his eyes, Prowl's heart grew to almost triple its size. Lunch with Alan, lunch with Alan, thankful for this special day. With soft, warm, and fuzzies, his heart started to fill when he heard a loud noise speeding down TV Hill. Help me, Uncle Alan! Said little Debbie on top of a runaway cart that she could not stop. I'm coming, little Debbie! I'll save you, I will! And he ran as fast as he could to the bottom of the hill. With the strength of ten men or twenty talk show hosts, Pearl stretched out some rope between two old lampposts. The tires all screeched. As the shopping cart stopped, Little Debbie was saved. 
and no food was dropped. I'm sorry, little Debbie. I've been a bad alley. Let's get back to the fun with our lunchtime pallies. There. All right, Alan. It's Alan. 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 And Debbie. Little Alan. Debbie. Alan. Alan. Hey, Alan. Hey. Well, lunch Alan. with Alan. Alan. Lunch with Alan. Back hey. together hey. on a special hey. day. Lunch hey. with hey. Alan. Thing on earth to heaven. Alan Prowl's the luckiest host because of the friends he loves the most. Lunch with Alan, lunch with Alan, lunch with Alan. We're all going to be together for Christmas after all. This is your pal Alice. Alan, you can tell me what made you change your mind about financing this spree. My accountant said, just save the receipt and we'll get it all back in 92, if we cheat. been narrated by Alan Walden, starring Alan Prell, Dr. Ju Jim Dasinger, Julius Westheimer, Alice Steinbach, Ron Smith, Kevin Cowherd, Little Debbie Jackson, and Ernie Schilling as himself. And by special arrangement of You're a Mean One, Mr. Prell, and Lunch with Alan by Aria McAllicker. I hope I got that right. Dedicated to the memory of Dr. Seuss. And we hope you enjoyed our production today of Lunch with Alan. It's at 1227 at Radio 11 WBAL. At 1227, I think it would be very, very nice if we could get Dr. Jim and the rest of the uh, Lunch with Alan crew to sing a special Christmas song for you. That's me, because... I think you'd probably want to hear even more of that. Uh, Larry, do you think we might be able to do a news update about now, and then we're going to be able to come back here with more of our uh, special uh, celebration here? From Oh, and it's John Patty. And you're going to go do it. Okay, John. Jo we're just taking it easy. It's Christmas Eve day. Don't need to worry. It's not going to be Larry. It's going to be John Patty. Okay, so um, he's off uh, running toward the newsroom right now. And we'll return with more of our I'm Christmas. Coming. Yes, okay. <laughs> okay, you're there. All right, we're here. Oh, gosh, that, uh, that just so relieves me. So we'll have more of our uh, Christmas Eve celebration on Lunch with Alan in just a moment. Here's John. Thanks, Alan. We're